Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this preview of Saturday evening's game against Tottenham Hotspur. Very exciting prospect, the 7.45 kickoff on a Saturday, which you've never seen before at Molyneux. Uh, we're expecting the light show and the fireworks and everything to be really, really spectacular. And also for a really good and positive performance as well, which we'll come to in a little bit. Um, there'll also be, of course, the respects paid to uh, Vichai the Leicester City owner, as well as the minute signs for remembrance as well before the game, as this is Wolves' last fixture before the Remembrance Sunday next Sunday. The Wolves are coming off the back of their worst run of form so far this season, losing back-to-back -back games for the first time in 17 months under Nuno. Uh, quite spectacular, really, that we've managed to go that long. We've also lost our last home game uh, against Watford a couple of weeks ago, so things pressure starting to build a little bit, and we've got a very, very tricky two fixtures now against Spurs and then next week against Arsenal as well. So it's really important that we try and pick up something from this game against Tottenham, and I, I think that we can. So we saw last week against Brighton that Nuno made his first change of the season. He took uh, Diogo Jota out and put Adama Traore into the team, and that had limited impact, um, although we did see when Jota came on, he also had limited impact. So I expect there to be another change. I don't think that Traore is going to start again. Although lots of fans have been calling for him to do so, I don't think that he's the right man to start a game, particularly in a game where we might have be coming under quite a lot of uh, pressure down the wings and we need that sort of everybody coming back and working hard together. I don't think Troy is good at doing that. Personally, I would go for Cavaliero starting on the left-hand side with uh, Costa on the right-hand side and Jimenez in the middle. Uh, I spent this morning listening to the fan cast and the 77 Club and uh, Spears and Judah and there was a big debate about what Wolves need to do because the back is fairly secure. I did make a video yesterday perhaps suggesting that we could be starting to play four at the back and evolving into a team with three in midfield, a little bit like the England team. But I think we will be staying with five at the back for the foreseeable future or 3-4-3, four, three, four, three, however you want to see the, the formation. It's those front players that are letting us down at the moment. We're creating so many chances but just not scoring any. We've had the same number of shots as Liverpool have and they've scored 20 goals compared to our nine, which just shows you the massive gulf in class that we've got up front. If you take into consideration games against Brighton where we had 25 shots and Burnley where we had 30 shots and to only have one goal from all of those attempts, it's not very, very, it's not very good at all. Now as for Spurs, they're one of my favourite teams to watch in the Premier League. I really like the the class of Christian Eriksen. I think he's one of the best players in the league. The defence, I think, is tremendous. Uh, with Vertonghen and Alderweireld and Lloris, those players there. Although Lloris has had a few dodgy games this season, so hopefully we can capitalise on that. But um, And then Harry Kane up front, the best striker um, in the league. Probably the best English striker since the Shearer. Or Rooney, I don't know. I wouldn't, I'd put him more in the bracket of uh, Shearer than Rooney at the moment. Um, but they have got a very, very busy week. Uh, Spurs this week. They've had um, they had a game on Monday night on that horrible pitch at Wembley after the NFL game against Man City, which they lost. Two days later, then they played against West Ham in the League Cup, coming out winners in that game. Uh, and then they've played us. But then the other side of us, they've got PSV in a massive game in the Champions League. If they lose that, then they are out of the Champions League, which they don't really want because they could be ending up going into the uh, Europa League. So obviously there's lots to look out for with Tottenham. I'm quite excited. Again, a big team coming to Molyneux. You look forward to that and look forward to seeing the top quality players as well as a football fan. Um, but we're hoping to get three points or certainly something. I think if we can just be more clinical up front, we'll certainly make something happen. We've already seen Wolves raise their game for games against Manchester City and Manchester United, so I expect that we'll have a much better performance than we did last time at Molineux against Watford. And we'll see Neves and Moutinho grow into the game a little bit more. There might be a little bit more space in midfield as, as some of the Spurs players might back off and let us have the ball. Um, but I also think that we'll be attacked a little bit more. We'll, have, we'll come under a lot more pressure than we did against Watford in particular and that might play into our hands as well we might be able to get down and counter uh, some of the breaks that let me know your thoughts about the game on Saturday in the comment section down below I think there's a big dilemma about people going out are they going to go out before the game or after the game either way I'm sure it's going to be a very very loud atmosphere another sold out Molyneux um, been talk as well recently about the plans for the expansion and they sound like they're going ahead 
and I think that's really good news to be staying at Molyneux, that's the, the key thing that's come out of that. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it around to all your Wolves mates if you haven't already, and I'll see you after the game. Bye-bye.